What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are going to talk about some news. We have the banner coming this Friday and we have great heroes in it. So we are going to talk about that. Uh, have a look quickly to the championship because today I am qualified after the first turn. So let's talk about that. Okay, so as you can see on the screen here, we are gonna have a great banner this Friday. We have the return of Popper, and this is so great. I need Popper for the championship and for the advanced arena, and this is my time. I have to try to get him. He is an amazing hero. He does the same as a Sindo almost, and a space in terms of turn meter increase at the beginning of the fight of the wave he takes up to 30 percent turn meter increase and if you have the exclusive three when he plays first he can lower the turn meter of enemies by 30 uh, percent if i'm not mistaken this is a huge thing you want to have on your team. Uh, he is such a great hero and after that he reduces the defense by 60% and the tenacity by 60% of all enemies and when he dies he uh, pop an extra attack on all enemies dealing a lot of damage. He is a great hero. Then we are gonna have Ikina. Ikina is a niche hero. He is she is designed only for the guild boss and uh, probably for the new uh, boss coming this week normally if I'm not mistaken nothing is talking about that but normally uh, we are uh, mid-July this week so normally we should have the new guild boss so uh, we will have to wait and see but if we have the new guild boss Ikina, I Ikina is gonna be great in one of your teams she deals a crazy amount of damage but she needs the exclusive 3 without the exclusive 3 don't use her she's gonna be completely useless then we are gonna have uh, Eric um, today he is a bad hero. Uh, I mean, he is interesting because he can uh, push you a lot of targets and make uh, multiple detonations on them if you uh, detonate so, some enemies with other heroes, but uh, he is lacking some damage. Today, if you want to build a burn team, you have such great heroes, you don't need Eric. And then we are going to have HAL 9000, and the fun fact about HAL 9000 is I had some eyes, I had three eyes uh, last week and I decided to put two on my uh, space so she is really fast now and so I can be competitive for the championship and also because I decided to buy some arena dominator auras and so now she has a lot of speed. 2908 speed so it's still not enough but once she will be maxed out here she's gonna be way better and the next i i decided to spend it on my hal 9000 so he, he was exclusive 2 and now he's exclusive 3 so if that if, if, if this weekend i summon an extra hal 9000 um i will regret spending an eye on him but who who know uh, who knows who knows in advance. I, I didn't know. I couldn't know he would be returning this um, this weekend. And he is an amazing hero. If you have him as Suzy 3, he's gonna protect your heroes. They are gonna take 15% less damage on all your heroes under ally protection. And he's gonna get 40% more max HP per ally protected by him. And this is gonna be so great. If you have the second exclusive, he's gonna be more tanky when he's gonna die. Because when he dies, he uh, enters another another form and with the second exclusive he's gonna be more tanky and with the first one he's gonna also reduce the target's crit rate by 50% for three turns and the attack for three turns he is an amazing hero one of the best support in the game Especially if you don't have Lilia exclusive 2 minimum, you can use him in dungeons to replace her. I'm gonna make another video about her, about him, sorry. And if you want to know, here I was able to clear the stage 29 in 3 stars using that team. I have both Elik and uh, him and also Lilia, but even if you don't have Lilia, uh, you won't be able maybe to farm the stage 29, but maybe uh, 26, 27 at least, so it's a great hero. And finally, the last one is gonna be Chardonnay. Uh, Chardonnay is really interesting. He's part of the Forgotten. 
I have him without any exclusive today and he is the best hero to have on that faction. He's gonna deal a lot of damage because it's a bleeder and if you have the exclusive one he is gonna apply um, a heavy bleed too, increasing the bleed damage by 50% taken by the target under that uh, debuff so it's pretty strong. If you have the exclusive 3 he is also gonna reduce the target's attack by 40% and heal your heroes every time they are gonna hit the target under a uh, forgotten wound. And so he is a great DPS, a great support because he can apply a speed up too with the second exclusive here. A shield, 40% of his max HP, deal a lot of damage and heal your heroes. He is absolutely perfect. He's such a great hero for, uh, for the Forgotten. And also his bleed damage are gonna be based on his defense and his, his defense is gonna be increased uh, by his max HP so you can put some points in defense and max HP uh, he is gonna be really tanky a great support giving a big shield a big support to your team and deal a crazy amount of damage based on his defense he is one of the best hero in the game he is so great I wanted to use some eyes on him so I expect to get some exclusive uh, that Friday it's gonna be interesting so that was all for the legendary heroes on the banner let's talk about the epic ones we are gonna have Teres she is a bad burner hero Sylvan de Chanel and Anton so let's have a look to the game I'm gonna talk about them so uh, the Chanel is great for the faction because she is one of the only healers you can have in here if, especially if you don't have the SQD3 on Chardonnay maybe if you have the SQD3 on Chardonnay you can replace her by another an extra DPS and deal more damage kill the boss faster but if you don't have SQD3 on Chardonnay I am currently using her and if I show you my faction abyss here I was able to farm up to uh, 24 stages here using that team here so I have a good shield I have the HP buff on my heroes, 25%, some extra uh, freeze on enemies, I can freeze enemies with my ill caster, uh, lower their defense and uh, tenacity and deal a lot of damage in AoE. I have two bleeders without, okay, one exclusive here and uh, finally a healer, so yeah, the Chanel and Chardonnay are gonna be great for that faction. Uh, then we have Anton. Anton is such a great epic unit today. Uh, if you are lacking some heroes for the uh, Force Mark Tower support heroes, he is gonna be a great support. He is the only hero providing a consolidation. Uh, if you have the second exclusive here, consolidation one to all your heroes for the Force Mark Tower. If you haven't finished it yet, then he is gonna be a great hero. He can increase your turn meta here, cleanse the three layers of dust and uh, heal your heroes. Apply a shield also with the consolidation here. And he is such a great unit with his passive if he is exclusive 3, when he takes an attack that deals too much damage to him, he is gonna stun the target and the stun cannot be blocked or cleansed. And this is why that hero is such a great one. If you have a look to uh, the arena, uh, if you want to go on the advanced arena, if you are playing against a team as such, um, that one without Esther, because Esther is gonna immune Brynhild from taking controls. If you take that team, if you are using an Anton, um, then Brynhild, when when she's gonna counter attack, she's gonna get stunned and the stun cannot be cleansed. So this is why Anson is such a great unit. You don't need gear on him, just using him exclusively on your team without any gear. If he takes a big attack, he's gonna stun Brynhild and then you are safe. And this is why the hero is such a great hero. And I'm using him in a breath trial and it, every stage I'm using him and as you can see here, I was a top 5 using him on the last stages, okay? Really great hero. And uh, talking about the others, we have Sylvan. Sylvan is a bad hero. He's a from the Foresters. He, this is Sylvan. I mean, he can be interesting in some PvP way, maybe, because he can increase your resistance. 22% um, more resistance to your heroes. If you are using him uh, also... No, you can't use him with other heroes, because only the strongest effect will take effect, okay? So 22%, it's the biggest effect you can have on your heroes, without Nicholas, I mean. Otherwise, you have Kaido... <coughs> Sorry, you have Kaido and you have another one. Uh, I don't remember exactly who 
But I, I remember you have another one. And finally you have Teres, and as I said, Teres is not a great hero. This is Teres. She is a burn hero, but she doesn't provide any burn with the basic attack. She can lower the resistance of the target, and have more burn damage here, and this is everything. So she is not a great hero. So enough talk about the banner, let's go back on the announcement and uh, then we are going to have the double the legend this weekend. And this is going to be great because if you summon one hero, then the first uh, legendary hero you are going to summon, you are going to have another legendary hero given for free. It can occur only one time, uh, but um, remember that if you have the banner here, if you, you are going to have the banner here, it's the double the legend is completely random. It is not forced to be in the banner and it won't um, count as a hero from the uh, outside of the banner. I mean, if you have, uh, normally you have a guarantee to have a hero on the banner. Uh, the third hero uh, summoned is guaranteed to be in the banner if the two uh, previous heroes weren't in the banner. So uh, if you the double legend hero you pop is outside of the banner, uh, it doesn't count. Okay, so that was all for that. Then go back on the... Uh, yeah, I'm still on the announcement. Sorry, uh, I forgot to hide it. So here we are gonna have the gift of heaven uh, tomorrow. Normally there is no date or maybe next week. I don't know exactly. During which, if you summon a lot of excellent and supreme wishes, um, you are gonna have the, uh, a, legend, a legend phantom dragon eyes, sorry. So it's pretty interesting, it's more like an investment. Uh, I like doing some summons on it, but if it starts tomorrow, I won't use anything on it. So uh, let's have a look to the game, because normally we can see it on the calendar. And uh, no, it's not that week, so probably next week on Monday, on Tuesday. Go back on the announcement and uh, normally uh, you may have noticed that you had a bug th this morning on the trio match and so they send all the players 20 extra trio stamina which is pretty nice so in order to get them to collect them you have to go under your reward box here and claim history you can claim them normally as you can see here so it's pretty interesting so uh, that was all for the news, and now let's jump into the championship, okay? As you, as you saw here, I beat Urge. That means I'm on the second turn, and I have to beat Tornado777 that time. It's gonna be so freaking hard to beat him, uh, and personally, I don't think I can win. So if you have to bet on someone, uh, maybe it's better to bet on Tornado. I'm gonna try my best to beat him, but it's gonna be random. And uh, uh, I don't know, because if you have a look to his teams, look at all the exclusives, okay? I'm not using uh, Donald Rebelli because I'm using Ogradis instead, so I won't have any advantage um, in, in the PvP for that. He has Esther exclusive 5, my Esther is exclusive 1. He has Pauline exclusive 5, my Pauline is exclusive 1. He has... Um, no, he doesn't have Popper, so on that point, uh, maybe I can beat one of one, an extra team of him, so we are gonna see. But look at all the exclusive, he is a big, big, big player. I'm also a big player, but I doubt I can beat him, but who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna try my best to beat him, and we are gonna see. And on the second hand here... Uh, group number two, I think. Uh, I am also qualified here, and I am against Yoi, the guy who eliminated Bailey on uh, the last championship. And if you have a look to the team see here, he has uh, Lydia exclusive 5. I have Lydia exclusive 0 on that account because now today it's free to play. Uh, Donald Rebelli, I'm not having a Donald Rebelli on that account because I'm farming the Dwarven Ruins with Ogradis. Uh, here, okay, uh, Tifia with uh, Rista, this is a great combo, so I hope I'm gonna have a great team to face that team uh, with Elsa. My Elsa is also exclusive 5. We have, uh, I have the exclusive on all the heroes, but I don't have Popper neither, so uh, he has many advantages. He has Popper, he has Lydia. So, and Donald Rebelli, so three heroes that can beat mines. Uh, but who knows, if I'm lucky enough, I'm still, I still can win. I still can win, and I'm curious to see. So, I know that many players bet on me. Uh, I hope 
I won't disappoint you. So, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and then see you in the next one. Bye-bye.